If you want to perform a full production deployment, then you need to make a few configuration decisions. This video explains the choices that you need to make and how they impact the installation process. Before planning your setup, take some time to familiarize yourself with the system's architecture and system requirements, as these may affect the decisions that you make. You can find these resources in our online documentation. Suite Enterprise Edition includes an embedded H2 database. Using this database makes it easy for you to evaluate the product or run trials, but for production deployments, you may want to connect to an external database. If you are using an external database, you must set it up before installing Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. For more information on this process, see our setting up the external database document. It's worth noting that you can migrate from the embedded database to an external database later if required. For standard deployments, you'll need to choose a port that users and API clients can use to access the application. The port number you choose must meet the following requirements. The port must be available for use on the machine that you want to install the enterprise and web servers on, and the operating system must be allowed to bind to that port. On Linux and Mac OS, low privilege users are unable to bind to some well-known port numbers. Burp Suite Enterprise Edition supports TLS communication with the web server front end. In order to set TLS up, you'll need a TLS certificate file in PKCS12 format and a password for that certificate file. You are prompted to enter these details once the application is installed. The certificate you specify must have the P12 extension. Certificates in PSX format are not supported. You will need to specify separate directories for the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition application itself, its logs, and its data during the installation process. For Linux and Mac OS installations, you should decide whether you want to use an existing operating system user to run the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition services, or create a new user during installation. If you intend to run large numbers of concurrent scans, then you may want to set up dedicated scanning machines. However, you can also run scans from the same machine that the enterprise server is installed on. You should consider whether you want to run scans from the enterprise server machine before you install, as you will be asked which enterprise components you want to install on that machine during installation.